Hi, in this lecture I'll show you how to install Node-RED on your Raspberry Pi. To do that I'll be following the instructions in the documentation under documentation getting started Raspberry Pi and I'm just going to follow this script here. So you can see it's very easy. So the first thing to do is to follow this structure to issue this command here in order to um, ensure that, as you can see here, the uh, NPM is able to build any binary modules that it needs. So I'm going to do this first, and then I'm going to run this bash command. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to log into my Raspberry Pi. Okay, and then I am going to copy this command and paste it into my Raspberry Pi. Yeah, so as you can see, there was a update to several Git related packages. So it's a good thing that we're doing this now. Okay, and let's now install Node-RED itself, or actually upgrade it from the existing version that it that comes with Raspberry Pi OS. Just copy the command, the bash command, and paste it into my Raspberry Pi. Yep. Yes, please. All right, so this is going to take a while. I'm going to fast forward at this point and continue once we're back. And we're back. So uh, node version 12.18.2 with NPM 6.14.6 .6 is installed as well as node red call version 1.1.1. .1. We can actually uh, start node red now and, and check it out. So we're going to do this by running uh, node red locally. And this is the command node red pi. And because I'm running node red on an old Raspberry Pi 2 with limited memory, I'm also going to use this switch here, max alt space, in order for it, in order for node red, I should say, to uh, release any unused memory quickly rather than holding it. So I'm just going to copy this command and paste it into my Raspberry Pi. Get a few seconds for Raspberry Pi to begin, uh, for Node-RED to begin. And okay, here we are. It's up and running at this location and at this port. So I'm going to open up a new tab and uh, instead of going for the IP address of the local host, I will say HTTP um, node red dot local, which is a host name of my Raspberry Pi 2 and the port 1880. There you go. And there's my node red. So fresh installation. Okay, that's one way to do it. Um, I prefer, however, to run Node-RED as a service. So I'm going to type Control c to exit uh, Node-RED. And back in the documentation, you can see that there is the option to run Node-RED as a service. And uh, the various commands to do so, such as to start, stop, restart, etc., Node-RED already exists. So for example, I can say node red start, which is what I did earlier actually, and it will start like this. Now it's running as a service. I'm going to hit control C to get out of it. I want to be able to get node red to start automatically on boot so I don't have to log on to my Raspberry Pi with SSH and manually start it. So I'm going to install a system D service for node red. And to do that, I need to copy this command in. So copy that in here. So now I've got uh, a symlink 
so that on boot this uh, instruction is called and if I want to disable that I would do this I would say disable node red service so now if I restart my Raspberry Pi and actually I'm going to do that now to test it um, node red will be starting so let's try this out I'm going to say sudo uh, reboot okay and I'm going to refresh so you can see connection lost as the Raspberry Pi is rebooting going to wait for the Raspberry Pi to continue booting up and then do a refresh on this page. Try now. Not yet. And one more time. There you go. So my node red service now is operating. Perfect. So now we have a working updated copy of Note Red on my Raspberry Pi 2. The next thing that I want to show you in the next lecture are some configuration options. Uh, Note Red does have a configuration file and you can use it to tweak the setup of your Note Red installation. So let's check that out next.